with countries like South Africa, like Kenya, pushing for the removal of signatures from the Rome Statute. How worried are you that taking on this case and pushing on it is going to cause only major problems for the ICC on the African continent? Um, this is a challenge for the ICC that um, um, is bound to happen. It's a, it's a challenge that is uh, bound to happen because um, ICC is holding to account perpetrators of very serious crimes, war crimes, crimes against humanity and genocide. There is expected to be pushback, but that is exactly why the ICC was set up, because people in powerful positions cannot or sometimes will not be tried by the uh, states that um, where they are occupying those positions. And uh, they will always be supported by the state apparatus or in the case of militia, by the militia, militia groups. So these are challenges that the ICC will be confronted with. But that does not mean that the ICC should not do its work. We will continue to do our work where we, our jurisdiction has, jurisdictional parameters have been met and where the ICC crimes have been committed. How disappointing is it that South Africa, from your point of view, that South Africa didn't hand over Omar al-Bashir? Uh, the denial of justice for the victims of these crimes is, is, is what is uh, important here. And the longer we do not uh, um, have President Bashir surrender to the ICC, the longer the victims of these crimes will wait to, f to see that justice is, is done. The case against President Kenyatta was dropped by your office and now we're hearing that the Kenyan government at the UN General Assembly is kind of stirring up some pressure for the C Security Council to put pressure on you to drop the case against Deputy President William Ruto, who's still under trial at the ICC. Um, the calls from especially Kenya and their supporters on the African continent that the ICC is kind of a European court and only tries Africans. How difficult is it for you to carry on in trials like that when there's such enormous political pressure? ICC is not targeting Africa. ICC is actually working with and for the victims of the crimes that are being committed on the continent. Nobody can deny that crimes are being committed on the continent in various, uh, uh, various situations. And all those situations that the ICC is looking at we are looking at it because those countries have requested the ICC to intervene. They are state parties. They have signed and ratified the Rome Statute and they requested, they referred the situations to the ICC. There are misinformations out there about the ICC, that ICC is a, a Western court um, targeting Africa. How wrong can that be when you have from the continent 34 states sign and ratify the Rome Statute. They are part of the court. How can they turn around and say this is a European court? In fact, Africa is the most, uh, the, the, the region with the highest states that are part of the ICC. How does it make you feel when people call you a traitor to the African continent? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't bother me because I'm not. I'm not a traitor. Um, there are people who are interested in saying that because of, as I told you, the propaganda. Uh, they do not want the work of the ICC to be done or to be done fairly. They want me to be favor uh, to favor some people and not. And when I took this office, I said I was going to do my work without fear or favor. And that is what I will do. I had uh, already indicated also that I was endorsed as the sole African candidate by the African Union before I was elected. I, I, I was elected into office by 123 states parties, including the 34 African states. I am a prosecutor for all those 122, 24, 23 states parties. I am a prosecutor for that. I am an African, it's irrelevant. You've got cases, you know, the Maidan protest, the Ukraine stuff, Palestine you're looking into, Iraq, Colombia. Can your office cope? Have you got the resources? The ICC as a whole has never been busier. I'm sure you, all, you also know that just uh, yesterday we did the initial appearance of the uh, Al Mahdi in the Mali situation. So the, court, the, the office is really very, very busy with all the situations that you have listed, which by the way, 
also shows that the ICC is not only in Africa, but it's also dealing with other uh, situations outside of Africa. But having said that, I have to say that the resources that are available in my office is not matching the demand. Uh, I, I really have to be uh, quite um, candid about that. And as a result, there's a lot of uh, pressure on staff, on ourselves, in uh, trying to carry all of these cases uh, forward. Uh, at the same time, uh, um, doing, doing investigations, also going into, into trial. And we have been uh, making this um, submission. We have been asking the states who are responsible for our budget to tell them that we really need the resources to be able to do everything. I have had to suspend investigations in the past or to start them, to de delay them, because I simply do not have enough resources to be able to do that. Fatih Bansoda, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much.